Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we gonna learn about HTML tags, elements, attributes and global attributes. Okay, so let's look at them one by one. First of all, we wanna learn about HTML tags. So HTML tags are special keywords that are used to structure our HTML contents. Okay, so as you can see that they have two parts. First one is opening tag and second one is closing tag. Okay, this head is also opening tag and closing head. Same with the title and same with other HTML tags. Okay, they have two parts, opening part and closing parts. But there are some other tags such as self-closing tags and empty tags. Okay, so let's look at them. What are the self-closing tags? Well, self-closing tags are simply closed by putting a forward slash inside their opening tag. So let's write a self-closing tag. For example, I am going to create a line break and I'll write br and inside this br tag, I'm gonna put a forward slash. Now it becomes a self-closing tag. Okay, so this is more like XHTML syntax, but in HTML5, we don't have to write this forward slash. We can leave it as it is. Okay, so this will create a line break. So what is a line break? Let's see it in action in our browser. Okay, so now you can see that we have a space of over one line. Okay, here I want to create a two different line inside this h1 element. So I'll write br and let's see it into our browser. So you can see that by using the br tag, I have created two different lines, but it will remain a single heading element. Okay, so now let's look at another self closing tag which is hr. And this is used to create a horizontal rules in our HTML documents. So let's write the same thing and let's look into our browser and you can see that there's a horizontal rule created in our document. Now let's get back to text editor and remove this and this will work fine. Okay. Because in HTML5, we don't have to put this uh, forward slash. There are some empty tags such as input input tag you don't have to put any forward slash to close it as a self-closing or put it uh, standalone self-closing tag for this input element for example i have applied um, button value for this type attribute uh, inside this input element and it's a empty element again a value attribute and give it submit which will be written on our button and let's preview into our browser here you can see that we have created a simple button okay so simply you don't have to put this forward slash or neither this closing input it's wrong way to write html input tag okay so guys let's delete this one and now let's learn about the attributes so as i said attributes have two parts First one is name of the attribute and second one is the value for the attribute. So type is the name of the attribute followed by a equal to sign and the value is the button. Similarly, value is the attribute name and submit is the value for, for that attribute. Okay. So now let's write another attribute which is global attribute and it can be applied to almost any HTML element. So let's write the title attribute and give it a title of my heading and this will be displayed when you hover over cursor to the text this is my document first, first document so let's hover over your mouse cursor to this html h1 tags and you can see this is a tooltip displaying my heading okay so let's get back to our text editor and now write another attribute for our paragraph and this is the style attribute and let's and this is attribute is specially used for CSS writing your CSS. So let's apply a color for our paragraph and basically attributes are used for the purpose of giving some extra functionalities to, to our HTML elements. Okay, so let's write color. So give it a color of red and let's get back to our browser and see the color red has been applied. Now let's do something else. Let's give it a a line of right so let's write it text line right so the text will be aligned to the right okay 
so now let's get back to our uh, text editor and here what I wanna do I gonna explain the next thing which is the element so elements are the building blocks of our HTML documents okay so this paragraph combining two tags first one is opening tag and second one is closing tags and containing contents inside this and this forms the element paragraph element so all the elements are the building blocks of our HTML documents and these HTML elements further form the DOM which stand for document object model which is the tree structure of our all the HTML elements such as this is the root element and it has a child element of head body and further body has its own child elements uh, h1 element br hr input p paragraph all these are the elements okay so now friends i hope you understand all the things that is related to html such as tags elements attributes global attributes etc so guys if you like this video please hit like to this video and subscribe to my channel for learning more and if you have any suggestion or feedbacks please comment below in comment section okay so see you in next video bye bye take care